All right, just making a quick video. This is a new power station I just came across on Amazon. And this thing actually looks pretty appealing, right? So um, the brand name is Dino. And I'm not sure if this is a new company or they're just new to power stations. But um, this is a, a nice looking unit. And I actually went through this listing real quick. And uh, even though it's a new company, everything is well written, right? Like, uh, like everything in this listing is well explained. So first impressions is... It is. Uh, it does look good, and uh, the unit itself does look look nice as well, right? So I thought we would just take a look at it. It's a thousand watt hour LFP battery, right? So lithium iron phosphate, of course, we expect to see that. And then um, it does still have a 1500 watt inverter, right? So um, even though the battery capacity is is a little bit smaller, it does have a larger inverter, which is going to run. You know almost anything you plug into it right not everything but um for emergency use like the appliances you're going to run with this with this thing if it doesn't run it you can always just get a smaller version of that appliance right so it might not run like the the largest microwaves out there but if you get a smaller one it's going to run that no problem and um something else like a like a hair dryer or something it's not going to run that all the way on high right but it'll run it on the lower settings so 1500 watt inverter that's going to cover your bases, right? And then um, with only a 1,000 watt hour battery, this is going to be a nice size unit, right? And, and actually, this is my favorite um, size power station um, because this thing's probably, they don't have the weight listed on here, but it's probably going to be right around 30 pounds. And then the footprint as well is not going to be very big, right? So, um, you know, one of the things I like to do with these units is when I'm using them around the house, you know, I like to just, just move them around. You're going to be setting them on a table here or a desk there, right? It's not going to take up, you know, the footprint of this unit is not that big, right? So it's not going to take up a lot of space if you set it down. And then also if you're, um, you know, putting it in and out of your car, right? And I, I definitely like this better than having just like one very large unit, right? That's just going to make things difficult every time you try to move it, right? And uh, if you need more capacity, you could always just buy two of them, right? Or something like that. So, um, so yeah, let's just, take a, let's just take a look at it real quick. So it is a nice looking unit, right? I mean, um, you know, at first blush, it doesn't look like it has any, anything unique about it going on, but actually it does. So these handles actually extend out when you go to grab them, right? So they actually like pull up. And that's, this is kind of an interesting solution to the, to the problem with the handle, right? Because you want to have, you want to have a handle that you can grab easily. Um, but you still want to keep this flat top and you still want to have, you know, a unit that's small and compact. And you also want to have a unit where the handle doesn't extend, you know, wider than the unit, right? Just to keep it again, um, nice and compact. So this solution, this might be the solution, right? Now we'll, we'll talk about the handle a little bit, little bit later here because they do kind of show it in action. But um, but yeah, right off the bat, I kind of do like that that solution to it. And then of course you got the uh, the wireless charger. Um, it's got this really nice large color screen, right? So something you're going to be able to see um, to, if you glance at it across the room, you're going to be able to read it. And um, we'll talk about it a little bit. They do show it a little bit, a little bit better later. So we'll talk about that again. And then um, the AC, like I said, 1500 watt inverter, right? So really nice to have a little bit of a larger inverter in a small size power station, right? And then they do list it at 120 volts, which, which I really like to see. Um, you know, again, we'll have, to, we'll have to see when people get their hands on this unit and actually test it. They're claiming it's 120 volts which I like to see because some of these power stations, they only output like around 110 volts, right? Which is ex acceptable, but you know, the normal, the standard, it, it should be at 120, so that's good. And then um, the USB, I, I really like seeing a, a unit that has a lot of USB options, right? Because it's like, it's like why not? These, these ports, they're small, so why not have a lot of them, right? Because you're gonna plug several things in at the same time. And um, so, yeah, we got three uh, quick charge USB A's, and then we actually got two 100 watt USB C's, right? So, two of those. So, this is about a, as good as you're going to get on any of these power stations. So, that's, um, that's really nice to see. 
Then you got the DC, um, standard DC stuff. Although it does have, this is a unique feature. It's a 24 volt um, little outlet there, but it is only five amps. So I'm not exactly sure, you know, how useful that's going to be, but that is something um, unique that a lot of power stations just don't have. So a 24 volt output. And then, um, you know, the, the one thing I would say that I'm a little bit disappointed to see on this unit, because otherwise this, to me, this would just be the perfect unit, is the input charge. So only uh, 32 volts max input. So as far as solar panels go, you know, it's basically one panel, or if you have two panels, you're going to have to get a parallel adapter for them. Um, and then 32 volts is the max voltage input, and then it's only 200 watts, right? So this is for solar, this is for um, charging from the wall. Basically, you can't go over 200 watts with this unit, right? Now it is, you know, only being 1,000 watt hours, that's not the end of the world, right? So, but still, five or six hours to, to charge this thing back up. Um, you know, some, with the things out today, we, we wanna see like closer to around two hours, right? Let's just keep moving and see what else they're talking about. Okay, so that's just the solar again. Um, LFP battery, as I said, lithium iron phosphate. So, of course, we expect to see that now. Um, 1,000 watt hour capacity. And like I said, that inverter, 1,500, 1500 watts, right? Um, and again, you might not be able to plug everything into it, but, you know, most, most appliances are going to work. And if not, the appliance might have a low, you know, or lower, lower setting that'll work. And then 12, uh, 12 devices at once, right? So yeah, definitely got all of the outputs covered, right? Everything you want to see, and uh, including that wireless charger. And let's just keep moving. Okay, so you're saying 10 year lifespan, five year warranty. That's mostly due to the fact that they're using that, that LFP battery, right? Um, hopefully the, the rest of the unit will hold up as well. And now let's just take a look at this one video here because it also shows some of the interesting features is this unit does have, um, you know, one of my favorite features on these power stations, believe it or not, is just having a light, right? Um, this is just real nice to have for emergencies, obviously. But even just to add a little bit of ambient light, right, to your room or something, uh, to your bedroom or something like that. So this unit has this large uh, dispersed lamp on the back, and this is actually my favorite setup for having a light on a power station, right? is number one, it's, it is that like kind of a diffused panel. So it's gonna give a nice even light. Um, and then being on the back, that's, that's kind of my favorite setup because some of these power stations, they have a light on the front, right? And at first you might, you might say, well, that makes more sense because you're gonna be plugging stuff into it. But think about it, if, if your eyes are adjusted to the darkness and there's a bright light on the front, that light could actually blind you, right? And actually make it harder for you to see. So having the light on the back, it'll just kind of light up the room real nice, right? And you can, you can still see what you're doing in the front of the unit without being blinded. And then this unit, it also has low, medium, and high settings for this light. So um, just, just perfect, right? In my book, this is just the perfect light you want to have on a, on a power station. And now one thing that I'm not too crazy about seeing is... Um, the, the vents for the for the fan on the side here is like really small. <laughs> I have no idea like why why they made it this small, but um you can imagine that the fan is like behind it like this, you know, like a circle. Um, so this is like they just need to make that vent bigger, right? Because if you're gonna be trying to force air through that little opening, it's probably gonna make some noise, right? It's gonna be louder than it really needs to be, because the, you're gonna be trying to force that air through that small that small slot basically, right? So, um, and, it, and it could reduce the amount of airflow as well, right? So I have no idea why they made the opening so small, but they need to fix that. Um, you know, obviously it's still gonna work, but it's just not ideal, right? It's just not ideal for cooling. So um, yeah, just kind of a weird thing to see that. But um, yeah, there they there show the airflow. And then the last thing I wanted to show you here just in a second is this handle, right? So there's the guy with the handle. And as you can see, these things actually slide up. So definitely an interesting solution to that. Now, now I have to get my hands on this unit to actually see, you know, because something that could make or break that design is just how do those handles feel, right? Um, if they feel like real loose, 
and they kind of like wiggle around and stuff like that in your hand when they're pulled up, um, you know, that could really break this whole design and really just, you know, ruin the impression of quality and stuff like that. So, but if they are like real solid in there and they kind of slide in and they stay straight, you know, and they just, they feel solid even when they're extended like that. I mean, I think this could be a, a, almost an ideal solution to this, this handle problem with these power systems, right? Because like I said, it keeps the unit very compact. You keep that flat top. And, um, and then when you're not grabbing the handle, you know, it's just kind of, it's just kind of there and out of the way and you don't even really notice it. Right. So, um, but yeah, we have to get, get a hands on for, to actually get the, the final verdict on that. But, um, I do like that idea. Right. So let's just move on to the, to the specs they have listed here. Like I said, everything seems well written. Um, everything's well explained. So this is, um, even though it is a new company, um, first impressions are good with that. And then um, basically all these are the specs that we, we basically covered already. That 200 watt max charge input, it is an MPPT solar controller, right? So of course we expect to see that. And then just as far as the stuff it comes with, it does come with the AC adapter, solar cable, car cable, and the manual, right? So um, yeah, everything, everything you'd expect to see in the, in the box. A little bit more about the company. Um, again, just some of the things you can power with the inverter. And again, the, the screen, this bright color screen, um, it's obviously a very, it's a very nice looking screen. It's got, you know, your time. So this is the time to empty or time to full, depending on if you're charging or discharging. And then it's got separate, um, you know, separate things for input, separate for output, right? So it has that displayed separately. And then, you know, whatever you're using here at the bottom. And then, like I said, the, the percentage and stuff like that, you're going to be able to glance at that and see where you're at, no problem. So I think uh, having a large color display um, is good on these power stations and something, like I said, that you can kind of get an idea of what, what's going on, uh, even if you're looking at it from across the room. 200 watts is the most you can put into this thing, right? So it's going to be five, six hours, no matter if you wall, solar, generator charging from a, from a generator or what, right? And um, in this picture, it does show that it comes with this power brick, right? So that that's disappointing as well. Um, you know, we like to just see that regular core that just plugs into the unit. So that, that's the one thing, you know, the one negative thing with this product is the um, charging, right? So, but everything else I really like, I really like to see you know, something if you're looking at for like a small or mid-sized unit, you might want to take a look at this, right? Now, like like I would just recommend, you know, wait and see see what kind of reviews come in. Now, the, the first couple of reviews on here are good. But, um, you know, generally I would just, just wait a little bit to kind of see, get some more reviews to see what's going on. But like I said, it is a new company, but this listing is very well done. The product itself looks very nice. Um, and like I said, this is kind of, kind of my favorite size unit to have, right? So if you're looking at a small to mid-size unit like this with a LFP battery, a, a, a inverter that's going to be able to power almost anything, um, you know, take a look at this unit, right? So, uh, so yeah, hopefully someone finds this interesting or helpful and yeah, thanks for watching.